Oh my goodness, there she is. Good afternoon, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day. Look at the Disney fantasy here at Port Canaveral. This is a ship I have always dreamed of sailing on, and today is the day for our summer, or should I say our late summer vacation. But first, we need to drop off our luggage, pay to park, park, and walk over to the terminal. Just a heads up, parking here at Port Canaveral for a seven night cruise, $136. But look at this view of the Disney fantasy. I can't believe it. All right, we just parked here at the Orlando International Airport. We are here to get our COVID test. Hopefully everything comes back negative. That way we can go on our cruise. It's always such a uh, anxiety moment when you have to test before a cruise because if you test positive, you can't go, but fingers crossed. And here we are at Advent Health, located inside Terminal A. That was super easy, super convenient. Took about five minutes to get our test and we should get our results in the next 10 minutes sent over to our email. I like this, it's a good option to have if you're traveling. We have good news and we have some more good news. <laughs> the first good news, we're negative. We're going on the cruise. Yay. Second, we got Starbucks, cheers. Yay. <laughs> All right, let's not waste any more time. Let's get this seven night Eastern Caribbean cruise going. I hope you guys are ready because we are. Let's go do this. Okay, this way to the terminal. We get to walk over this bridge over to the Disney Cruise Line terminal. It is such a perfect day outside. Since this is our first cruise where we are both silver members, hopefully one day we'll be gold and platinum, but we get our own check-in area separated from everyone else. We just made it through security, about to go up and check this out. They still have the inaugural sellings for the Disney Wish Up. Look at this place. It's so empty and quiet. We did get here a little late. They are boarding all groups at this point. We need to stop here at Guest Relations to see if we can get an upgrade because I did book this cruise about two weeks ago. Here's the Disney Magic. Can't wait to walk through the Mickey ears right there. Well, unfortunately, as of now, there's no more upgrades of any kind, but we were told to stop by guest services on the ship after five o'clock. Here we are outside on the viewing deck. Look at all of the luggage going through the Mickey ears. Oh my goodness, here we are. Hello, how are you guys? <laughs> Thank you. There's Mickey. Oh my goodness. Mickey is here. Hello, Mickey. Thank you for having us. Oh my gosh. We are back. There's Minnie Mouse. I feel like I'm in a dream right now. We are on the Disney Fantasy. Oh my goodness. Look at guest services. There's a big old line right there. Um, let's go to the spa first, try to get the rainforest room. Guys, we are just so dang happy right now. I almost cried. Last time I did cry. Wow, there's the merch. I can't wait to go shopping. Oh, I have goosebumps, I'm shaking. I cannot believe we are back on a Disney cruise ship. I've heard nothing but outstanding things about this cruise ship. Oh. Wow, all right, we're going up to the spa to try to get the rainforest room for the week. We're just lost. <laughs> Look at the elevators. It says fantasy with the Mickey hand. Good news, we were able to get our seven day pass to the rainforest room for two people. It was 322 cents with 18% tip included. Not too bad for seven days. That's one thing that we really wanted to do on this trip and we got it. We are now outside on deck 11, which is the pool deck on the Funnel Vision. They're playing Toy Story. Look at it. There's the pool, the aqua duck. Oh my goodness. This is awesome.
right now we are heading over to Animator's Palette. I'm walking backwards because if I look this way, you can't see me. Well, you can kind of see me. So we're walking over to Animator's Palette to see if we can have lunch there, which is a sit-down restaurant. If not, we'll just go back up to Deck 11 and have lunch at Cabana's. Can't believe I get to eat Cabana's whenever I want for seven days. <laughs> Animator's Palette is already closed for the afternoon. You guys closed at two? It's 2.09, so that's okay. So, Cabanas, here we come. Here we are, but first, washi washi. Oh wait, that's World Caribbean. And the lunch hours for Cabanas, noon to 3.15. We got a table right by the window, looking out at the Carnival Freedom. Is that the one that caught on fire? I think it is. I could be wrong. And then right here, is NASA, the VAB building, starting off with a salad, and then I got a little bit of everything for lunch, and I also love how on Disney Cruise Line, drinks are included, so you don't have to worry. Bianca just pulled it up. That is, in fact, the same ship that caught on fire. <laughs> there it is. I promise. I just went to go get dessert, and I only asked for a pumpkin pie, and the very kind cast member said, Sir, are you sure? Do you want anything else? Remember, <laughs> You're on vacation, so I said, all right, you got me. I'll take an Oreo cheesecake too. <laughs> vacation mode has started. I also really appreciate how on Disney Cruise Line, they keep the silverware on the table. Before we leave, I wanted to show you guys what they have. They have unlimited shrimp and crab claws, salads, meat and cheeses, they have potato soup and gumbo and cornbread. Here's the fountain drinks that they have, as well as juices and coffee, and also teas. All kinds of teas to choose from. Here's the desserts that they have. They have all kinds of stuff. Carrot cake, fresh fruit salad, Oreo cheesecake, raspberry cream pot, pumpkin pie and jello. Ooh, they have fresh turkey with cranberry sauce. They have fresh fruit, plus a full bar inside of cabanas. Sandwiches and wraps. And then over here you have macaroni and cheese, chicken strips, vegetables, french fries, steak, lamb, mashed potatoes, more vegetables. Finally, they have pizza. Right next to cabanas, they have a candy store called Sweet On You. Look at Minnie and Mickey. This place is so cool. Now you do have to pay for the treats in here, but they have gelato. My goodness, look at this candy explosion gelato. They have unicorn sprinkles, show me. <laughs> Bianca gets excited for sprinkles. Yes, oh yeah, look at that. The more ice cream, you can make a sundae here. That's actually quite adorable. Then over here, they have all kinds of treats. Look at this. A chocolate dipped Oreo cookie. Captain Mini cookie, Captain Mickey cookie. All kinds of awesome cupcakes. Look at this McQueen car cupcake. They have a mini celebration, Mickey celebration, and a nautical navy cupcake. Chocolate covered strawberries, macarons. Oh my goodness. We got to get out of here, okay? I've already eaten enough. <laughs> now that it's after 2.30, we're going to head over to our room and see if it's ready. It should be ready. Let's go find out. Here we are, 85.15. We have our keys waiting for us right here. Welcome to our inside state room, I must say. I was a little nervous about this room, but I'm actually a fan. Let me show you guys the place. So you do have your front door right there. Bathroom, we'll go in there last. Over here you have your closet space. We'll say it's pretty spacious. There's a safe down here. You have hangers, your life vest, laundry bag, and then you also have more room right here with more hangers and just more space. Very nice. I mean, look at this cute little room. I love this so much. I thought it was going to be small, but it's actually pretty spacious. You have a couch right here that does turn into a bed if you need it. We are silver members, so we do have our lanyards and our bag. Lights right there. Place to hang stuff. Trash can. 
Here's our vanity, TV, and it does move. Remote, more storage up top, mirror. Down here you have your refrigerator. Nice size. Let's see, are the postcards back? And yes, they are. We have two of them right there. You do have a hair dryer inside of the room. We have very nice deep drawers here for more storage. And then we have cups right here. Not only do we have a few outlets, but we also have a few USB ports, which is very nice. I just noticed that I believe another bed will pull down. So you will have two beds if you're a family staying in this room and then you have a privacy curtain. Let me just say something that really made me more okay with staying inside of a inside stateroom. Number one is Disney, but number two, because they went above and beyond and they added a little porthole here. That's a camera, a live camera, I believe at the front of the ship. And then there's animation that will happen throughout the day. So this is really nice to have a very nice feature. By the way, look at the lamp shade with the Disney ships, and then you have a castle at every single Disney park around the world. There's Disney World, and then Disneyland. And then down here, you do have an outlet for charging. And then on the other side of the bed, you have another outlet plus your phone. And there's enough room where you can put your luggage under the bed to save you some room. I wonder when Disney will update the artwork inside of the rooms because you have the magic, wonder dream and the fantasy now we have the wish and two more coming after that now something about staying inside of a inside stateroom on a disney ship you do not have a split bathroom and that's something that i did really enjoy but that's okay because this bathroom is pretty spacious let me show you you have a full length mirror on the door and then heading in here's your sink toilet Oh, the Disney Cruise Line towels. Oh, I've missed you so much. There's a lot of them. And then watch your step on the way up. And then look at the shower in the tub. Very deep tub. And here's a look at the shower. I will definitely fit. And this is something that I really appreciate from Disney Cruise Line is the fact that they make really good showers. That way adults can fit unlike other cruise lines. You have your Disney H2O Plus shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. And then you have your strings up here that will pull over here for your wet clothes to dry. We have some more Disney Cruise Line soap. We also have lotion. Yeah, this bathroom will do. You can find your thermostat right by the door. Bianca is modeling our new backpack Yay. because we are Silver Castaway silver. Club members. Yay. So we got a bag. I think this is going to be Bianca's new gym, bag. new gym bag and then we have our silver lanyards yes finally <laughs> I just want the platinum ones already oh, right yeah, yeah. we have to but do it's gold ten, it's ten, ten is platinum and I think five is gold oh, yeah. we'll get there. so this is our second I think the trick is to do like the three day cruises yeah the weekend yeah, fast cruises <laughs> there is my fiance Bianca Hi. what do you think of the room it's awesome. I love it. And it's like so cozy and yeah. cute. I really like it. And we booked this not even two weeks ago. So we were very limited on options. And I just could not pass up this deal because I ended up pushing back our Wish Cruise. Had some credits left over. And then Disney Cruise Line was offering a Florida resident discount of 35% off. So I was like, yeah. Can't pass that up. Can't pass it up. And <laughs> here we are, not even two weeks later. Yep. What should we do now? We still don't have our bags. We have to do our mustard drill. So we have to go up to do the mustard mm -hmm. and then get some ice cream. And then the sell away party is at 4.30. Mm -hmm. We already have our rainforest pass yes. for seven that days. That's the first thing we did. First thing. We went straight to census. <laughs> so make sure you already have your Disney Cruise Line Navigator app downloaded because yeah. since our last cruise last October, they added a new feature where I can chat with a cast member on the app yeah everything's been seamless very easy yeah and we're trying to get Palo brunch we have dinner but we want brunch and other than that that's everything we got we got our mixology classes 
Yay, and I'm so excited. it's off to a really good start. <laughs> Yay, we got our luggage. We have left the room to do our muster drill. By the way, we are staying on deck eight, Ford. That's it? That took like five mm -hmm. seconds. I opened up my navigator app, scanned the letter H, and that was it. The muster drill is over. The ice cream stand is back to being self-serve. Look at this beautiful atrium. It's perfect. It's very quiet right now because everybody is up on the pool deck waiting for the sell away party, which is at 4.30. Look at the chandelier. More hidden Mickeys as they are everywhere on a Disney cruise ship. I really like the artwork throughout the atrium as well with the different Disney characters. We made it back down to deck three, which is the main atrium level. We're having dinner tonight at Royal Court. Here's a quick look at the dinner menu. Ooh, French onion soup. Your main course, duck breast, lamb, oven baked salmon. They have a filet steak and then bread service, some vegetarian options, lighter note offerings and so many desserts. Strawberry shortcake sundae, ooh, apple tart tantan, and then they have a duo chocolate slice with no sugar added. Looks pretty good. There's still a pretty long line for guest services. Another hit of Mickey. Coming up on the Walt Disney Theater, we will be spending a lot of time inside of this theater to watch Aladdin, movies, and other performances they will be having. Oh yes, they are showing Thor Love and Thunder on the ship. I will say, it's busy, but it's not that busy like about a month ago when it was the peak of summer travel. Not too bad.
are heading back to the room to change to finally go enjoy the rainforest room at Sensitive Spa. I thought I was going to make it through without shedding a few tears, but once <laughs> Bianca did cry. Yeah, that was cute. I, I, I cried a little bit. But once the <laughs> horn went off and we're selling you away, lost yeah, I lost it. And then seeing Goofy just up there living his best life. Wow. What a great way to start our vacation. Goofy was getting it. That was the best part. All changed and ready for the rainforest room, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and leave the camera and everything in the room this time. That way, you know, it's our first time going into the rainforest room. We wanna see how it is before I bring the camera in, but we have the seven day pass. I'm sure I'll bring you guys in a time or two throughout our cruise. So I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Wow, we just got back to the room. I have no idea what time it is, but let me tell you guys, the rainforest room, my goodness, it's already worth every single penny just because there's so much to do in there. And in another vlog, I will show you guys like what is the rainforest room. That way you guys know what to expect. Something just happened on our porthole. This thing is so awesome, by the way. Oh, Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> You can't get that anywhere else. I really like this room. Like me and Bianca, we were talking and yeah, a veranda is awesome, but this little window is magical. Yeah, off to a good start. What would you like to say about the rainforest room? I just want to say that I love the rainforest room and it is worth every penny. Yeah, we may I have fell asleep. I loved it, oh my good. Yeah, we took a little bit of a snooze. We have seven days. Yeah, did you tell them how much it was? Yeah, three hundred dollars with an eighteen percent tip for two people. Yeah, it wasn't so about one hundred and fifty per yes. person for seven worth days. Worth every penny. Mm -hmm. Total relaxation. I loved it. And if you don't want a seven day pass or three, five, four day pass, you can do a day pass, and it's much cheaper. Yeah. But you know, if you just want to test it out, do it. I recommend it. Yeah. Please <laughs> do yourself a yeah. favor. <laughs> do it. Also, we were able to make a couple's massage for yes. day four. Can't yes. wait for that. But now we're just going to hang out. We met our awesome stateroom host. Yes, she's so lovely. She was awesome. We're going to hang out, change. Oh, I did have my first Disney drink. On <laughs> with this, Buffalo Trace. With Buffalo Trace. I got an old fashioned. <laughs> so, yeah, it's off to a good start. We're going to change, rest yes. up, and then we have dinner at Royal Court. Yes. And who knows where the day or the night shall take us. And we did have another ice cream cone. We did. We did. We did. It was so good. Oh, God, it was so good. You know, when you've been <sighs> withholding for so long and then you come on your vacation and you yeah. just kind of Because yourself. we've been on a pretty insane diet Yeah, we've and been working in a calorie out. deficit for almost six months. Yeah. It's hard. So we are definitely going to let loose a little bit. We're mm -hmm. still going to work out. But we're going to enjoy ourselves. There's just nothing like a Disney cruise. Mm -hmm. I don't mind giving Disney my money on a Disney cruise <laughs> ship. Maybe not the park so much right now, but the Disney cruise ships. Yeah. Yes. Every nickel, dime, penny. It's worth it. It's worth it. Yeah. I love it. Okay, let's change. <laughs> Another awesome perk about cruising on Disney, you have a massive movie library, which is included. Right now we're watching The Parent Trap. I've never seen it, but Bianca loves this movie. Made it back down to deck three because it's now dinner time at Royal Court. So let's go eat. There's Captain Mickey and Minnie Mouse. And then we have Princess Ariel up top. We got some live music also. I like this. Oh my goodness, my hero, Goofy and Pluto. Look at Goofy. And here we are, just made it inside of the restaurant. We are being escorted to our table right now. We're table number 47. 
on this trip. We just got to our table. Another thing that I absolutely love about Disney Cruise Line, the rotational dining. You sit at the same table at the three restaurants and you have the same server throughout your cruise. I also really appreciate how when you make it to your table, your wait staff will come over and they'll already know your name. So our assistant service said, good evening, Devin and Bianca. I love that, such a nice touch. To get started, we have our bread service. And look, it came in a little carriage. I like that. We also have butter and olive oil. For our appetizers, Bianca got the fried brie and then I got the jumbo shrimp and lobster. The appetizers, not bad. I was a little worried just because, you know, when you order seafood, you never know. But the lobster, especially the lobster and the shrimp, they were really tasty. Even Bianca's, what is that, the brie? Fried brie, really good. Now, since we are on vacation, we did go ahead and order a second appetizer. We both got the French onion soup. It looks delicious. Let's give it a try. The French onion soup, it was okay. For our main entrees, we both got the fillets. They look pretty good. Let's see how they taste. I must say, that steak was really good. I enjoyed that. Check out these awesome dessert menus. It's like Harry's letter that he receives from Hogwarts. I like it. Not Disney related, but here's a look at the dessert menu. Man, oh man, everything sounds wonderful. Guys, I think I just made a bad decision. So our server, both of our servers are awesome. Our entire staff is awesome, but our main server came over and he said, well, what do you want for dessert? I can get you one of everything. I can get you two or I can get you just one. And he suggested the creme brulee with the souffle but i was pretty interested in the apple tart so i said which one's better and he said i'll just bring you all three so i was like well okay i guess <laughs> cheers babe we got decaf cappuccinos my server said to make sure i eat the souffle with the creme brulee so that's what i'm doing all of the desserts were wonderful especially that souffle that was my favorite the apple tart was good oh, i wanted another souffle i think we both did but we decided not to because we don't want to regret it because it's only night one <laughs> We came to the very back of the ship. I believe this is called the wake, but look around, there's just nothing. We came back outside to deck 11. We are walking through the adult only area. Everything is closed right now. They have their own bar. This is where I had my first drink earlier today at the Cove Bar. There's our elevator, and I like the location where we are staying at because our elevator is just right there. Take that down to deck eight and then take it up. We have the pool, we have a bar, we have the Cove Cafe here. It's everything you need and then some, plus more additional food options just right over there with Luigi's. The upper deck of the Walt Disney Theater is right here on deck four. Check this out, all kinds of photos of Walt. Oh, this one moves. That's cool. I love seeing Walt represented throughout the ship. I like this photo of him. By the way, do you want to build a snowman? I love how they play Disney music throughout the ship. You now have Donald and Daisy out doing a meet and greet inside of the main lobby atrium. And then you still have Princess Ariel out right over here doing a meet and greet. Ooh, walking through the D lounge. Looks like they're doing some kind of trivia in here. This must be the fun side of the ship. I already like this place a lot. There's a little lounge right here. There's a really fancy bar. Looks like inside a carousel. Then we have the pub right over here. And then I think there's a champagne bar or something over this way. Here we are. This is the place we were looking for. Ooh la la. Fancy. Let's go check out the pub. Now this is a lot better. This is more our style. I already see Buffalo Trace. They have a lot of good options in here. Plus beer on tap, TVs, 
This place is nice. Yep, you guessed it. <laughs> Another old fashioned with Buffalo Trace. I also love the little Disney Cruise Line napkins. After some fun, we just made it back to our room and it looks like we have a crab on the bed. Look at that towel animal. She even used my glasses. Plus we have some chocolate to end our evening. All right, my friends, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. What a fun day one we had here on the Disney Fantasy. Finally, we embark today. The ship is moving a lot right now. It's like going back and forth, which I don't mind. I actually like it because it makes me sleep a lot better. So I don't mind the motion. I did lay in the bed earlier. It's very comfortable. I can't wait to have a good night's rest with my crab on the bed. <laughs> I'm also really enjoying this little porthole. The room is great. Yeah, I missed the veranda, but this is not bad at all. The rainforest room was awesome. Dinner was awesome. Just being on here and just enjoying vacation it's what life is all about now i'm not going to work tomorrow i'm not going to film tomorrow i'm going to try my best to put the camera down lock it up in the safe and enjoy my day with my fiance tomorrow which tomorrow is a day at sea also we have another day at sea back to back day at sea days so i may not film that much the next two days i don't know but tomorrow at least I will be putting the camera down just to enjoy myself because it's much needed. But we have a lot coming up as this is a seven day cruise. Ugh, there's just nothing like a Disney cruise. Nothing in the world like it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as it really does help with the channel in so many different ways. I love you all and YouTube. I will see you in the next video. Prince Charming. Out. I ain't feeling lonely In a room and it's time to end the ride Fading it too slowly Where those can lift me up this time You were the only One who got me tripping up inside